spring reaches the aspen parklands of western Canada, and the red cider garter snake awakes from its winter slumber. In a handful of very rare locations, such as here in east central Saskatchewan, thousands of snakes emerge at once. It's the local geology that creates this unbelievable natural phenomenon. The red-sided garter snake is the most northerly living reptile in the Western Hemisphere. Temperatures here can drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius. In order to survive the harsh winter, these cold-blooded reptiles must hibernate well below the frost line in subterranean dens called hibernaculums. In geologically unique regions such as this one, the limited number of dens means all snakes living in a considerably large area are forced to gather in just one or two hibernaculums. With the arrival of spring and warmer temperatures, thousands of snakes slowly emerge from the small cracks and immediately switch gears. These snakes are males these two are males. In fact, the vast majority of snakes here are male, and after many months of hibernation, they're searching for only one thing. A female. Only slightly larger, she signals her readiness to breed with a pheromone and is quickly immobilized by a mass of males, each with hopes of mating. Courtship involves males rubbing their chins against a female's neck as well as quivering their entire body. But what exactly triggers a female to allow mating is still a mystery. Upon successfully mating, a male will inject a female with a copulatory plug. This gelatinous plug covers the female's cloaca and contains a pheromone making her unattractive to other males. Though the plug does not last forever, it is possible for females to mate with more than one male, and litters can be comprised of pups sired by as many as three different fathers. The pile of males become so entangled and so fixated on mating, they often snowball down hills, picking up other snakes in their path. Despite the skewed gender ratio and fierce competition, males do not battle for dominance or fight to establish their own territory as other animals might. The snakes awake from their hibernation roughly the same time every year, give or take a few days depending on inclement weather. This hibernaculum, located in the Fort Livingston National Historic Site, reaches its peak emergence either the first or second week of May. Love them or loathe them, the presence of this many snakes in one hibernaculum is a clear indicator of a healthy and thriving ecosystem. It's also an event you need to witness firsthand to fully appreciate. <laughs>